Thank you so much, Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, yeah, ministers, uh, dear colleague, dear speaker, dear colleague from abroad, and of course, dear majors and dear yeah, members of local authorities of Ukraine. First, let me say that it's a very great honor having the possibility to meet all of you and also to witness here what you have gone through in the last few days, months and weeks. You said it many times, Mr. President, the state, its leaders and its institutions must serve and protect the people. We in Switzerland share this philosophy and it has been one of the key elements of our success story in building a prosperous country and by cementing its unity through its diversity. Today in Ukraine, you as a leader provide service and protection to your citizens in time of war. A war of aggression launched by Russia to take your land, to stop your reform programs based on our all common European values and to destroy your nation. In this difficult situation, your fighting spirit, your sense of sacrifice and your strength of a, as a nation are very impressive. You deserve our highest respect and, your f and our fully support for the dignity and resolve which, uh, uh, with which Ukraine's confront this ugly, dirty and criminal war. Thank you so much for all you did. In politics, serving and protecting the people is best done by inclusiveness, which means democratic power sharing with the people. When peace will be back after victory, the recovery plan for Ukraine will have to continue to implement this power sharing. The instrument for this is decentralization. This means letting the cities and communities be fully responsible at local level for local issues. The regions at regional level for regional issues and the center of national level for national and strategic issue. Mr. President, I know that decentralization is on the top of your agenda. It was before the war and I think it still is and you can count on the support of my country because we are a country really built from bottom up. Switzerland is at your side fully supporting your cause of government the level in Kiev but also in the region and in the sector where we can make a difference. And maybe that's a little bit technical but I want to mention this sector because I know we have been working together in this sector, the humanitarian assistance, water treatment, innovation at ecological ag agriculture, energy efficiency, strengthening local economics through small, smart small and medium enterprises, education, urban mobility, waste management, green transition, local governance, digitalization, health and of course including health, uh, mental health which is so important to overcome the traumas inflicted by the war to all the Ukrainian people and all the Ukrainian society. In all these sectors we can engage at national level but also at local level because most of these issues must finally be implemented locally. The way we engage in partnership is always in the spirit of favoring local initiatives. In parallel to the guidance coming from parliament and government, the construction of Ukraine bottom up through responsible to responsible cities connected to, but also in dialogue with the authorities, is what we believe in to consolidate the country. In terms of nation building and prosperity, this inclusive approach has brought very positive results to Switzerland, and I'm sure it can bring the same results to Ukraine. And I'm proud that our cooperation programs with Ukraine have not been stopped because of the war. They have been reinforced by additional means in the humanitarian assistance and by flexible adaptation of our long-standing sectoral programs to the, earlier, uh, to the reality and the needs of your country at war. Therefore, we are still planning to help or to, to make it possible to make the conference for Ukraine to take place in Switzerland in uh, the beginning of July. We have to change the name, but uh, we work together and if you need any more assistance, we'll be very happy uh, to help you. And of course, it would be a pleasure for us when it would be possible to, uh, to welcome you, but to welcome the entire Europe in Switzerland to speak about how we can support you and how the entire Europe can uh, support you by uh, mobilizing the international community needed for the full recovery and reconstruction of Ukraine. And you know, 
Swiss Parliament provided the legal basis for an additional amount of 80 million Swiss francs to Ukraine on top of the annual 30 million francs we have in our normal cooperation programs for humanitarian aid. If you need any more, if you think it's not enough what Switzerland does in this sector, just let us know. As you know, in our legal order by neutrality law, we do not deliver weapons in a war zone. But we assure you of our support to the Ukrainian nation. This support is delivered directly to our partners in regions, in the cities and also in the local communities. And whenever it's possible, I think you know it, we uh, make all we can do that we collect the products and the food we deliver in other zones to Ukraine, in, in Ukraine, and also to do it with Ukrainian transport. Through this approach, Switzerland's cooperation program supports not only the Ukrainian society, but also the Ukrainian community. And I think that's something that's going to be very important in rebuilding Ukraine, that we connect the society with the economic, because we have, or you have, or we have together to rebuild all of them for Ukraine. Mr. President, dear representatives of Ukraine authorities at all levels, in time of war, your task to serve and protect Ukrainian people is more important than ever. And once again, especially having in mind the crime committed against your people by Russian aggressor, I command your courage and determination. As a local, regional and national politicians' leaders, you are fighting for freedom with civilian tools beside your soldier. You are all heroes defending Ukraine and Ukrainians and protecting Europe and Europeans. Thank you so much.